we know the prime minister has spoken almost immediately on this issue. And he said that I want women in Canada to know that we will always stand up for your right to choose. Now, you know, for some that might be, those might be welcome words, some may not. I mean, from a completely neutral perspective, we don't have a right to abortion in Canada. So I'm not exactly sure what, to what he's referring. There is no right to abortion in Canada. It just simply doesn't exist. We have an, a vacuum of law. There is no law. What do you think, and it, we, we've seen that U.S. politics tends to spill over to the U.S., and, you know, they might argue that ours spill over down south as well. Think of the Freedom Convoy. It started here and it came down there. What do you think will happen, if anything, to abortion legislation? Will there be something introduced? Will this be the time to act for Prime Minister Trudeau, Trudeau who has been a very known, staunch pro-choice advocate? Well, it's interesting because I'm not sure that this is the winning issue for Trudeau as it has been in the past. Um, and I say that because in in general elections, it's been common practice for that for the Liberal Party to, um, in some senses, rightfully point to conservative uh, members of parliament and their pro-life views and their views on restricting access to abortion. Um, so it could be an opportunity for Prime Minister Trudeau to codify um, some sort of law um, enshrining access uh, to abortion. The problem is, is that you'd have a huge disparity in regards to the question asked to Canadians. If you were to ask Canadians if we were, to, if should we change Canada's abortion laws, um, I think the majority of Canadians would say no, we shouldn't. Um, but if you asked Canadians. Uh, if there should be restrictions and you segmented it based on trimester, you would see a majority of Canadians be in support of um, restrictions uh, in the later uh, trimesters, especially the third trimester. Um, so you would most likely end up getting legislation that would be more restrictive um, than, it, than, than abortion access is today. And I think it would largely be... Um, a, it would it would eat up a lot of the political conversation to if we were to go down the route of let's say a, a, a ban of of abortion in the third trimester of legislating something that is so incredibly rare um, it begs the question of why legislation is even needed. Sorry, now, that what is what is incredibly rare? A third trimester abortion. It's less than one point five percent of all abortions in Canada, um, and that doesn't include. Um, that does not include those which are required due to some sort of maternal health issue um, or non-viable issue uh, with with the, the fetus. And so we're talking about something that is so incredibly rare in terms of um, abortion in Canada, something that has declined significantly uh, over the last 10 years. I believe it's down um, by 20, as much as 20,000 uh, since 2007. Uh, or sorry, down thirty thousand by since two thousand and fifteen. So it's something that is 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 declining, um, and that third trimester uh, question is so incredibly rare. It it really just makes you wonder why um, that would be what should dominate the political discussion here in Canada. Because and just if for that's people to know, our viewers should know that um, we mentioned there is no law on abortion, so there is no restriction at any time up until the moment of birth, I suppose, uh, even partial birth, you can have an abortion in Canada. You're right. They're not as common at that point, but you can. There, there, is, a, there is access. There is no criminality to that. You will not be prosecuted. Yeah, but I think you also have to, you have to factor in that for that decision to be made, there is a huge, of that 1.5, 1.29%, a, a significant portion of those would be due to things like infection, hemorrhage, uh, and other health problems that make it, in many instances, a requirement, not an elective uh, procedure as commonly uh, explained when when predominantly people on the pro-life side talk about uh, abortion happening in, in the third trimester. And so that 1.29% uh, is actually much lower once you factor in uh, instances where it's medically necessary um, to do so. And sorry, where did you get that 1.29%? Because I've never heard that stat. So that is from the Abortion Rights Coalition of Canada, published on March 28th, 2022. So this is the most up-to-date data we have in terms of the figures in Canada. And I think that regardless of where you stand, the, the fact that 
the, the, the demand for abortion has gone down significantly is a good thing. Whether you're pro-life mm-hmm. or you're pro-choice, that is a good thing. That means that on the pro-choice side, less women feel that they need to do so. On the pro-life side, it means that, the, that fewer um, abortions are taking place. And the fact that the third trimester uh, figure is so low suggests that there are not uh, a lot of people making that, that decision. Mm-hmm.